Before we run the simulation, based on the appearance of toolpaths, we could see that the tool's entry into the material is not very good. We see that the tool goes down vertically, as in the drilling, and for cutters, this kind of entry into the material is not good. Of course, in AlphaCam, it is very easy to change and adjust the tool entry and tool exit to our needs. Ok, but first, let's delete this operation and add this geometry to this operation. Ok, to add a specific lead in and lead out, edit this operation and go to lead in out tab. To enable adding the tool in and tool out, select the apply out to lead in out option and now we will focus mainly on the entry of the tool into the material because the exit has the same parameters. Therefore in the leading section select the line from the drop down list and in the lead out section select none. Ok and the other parameters set as here. Ok. Click OK. And here we have our lead in. Ok. Let's again edit this operation. Select leading out tab. And here we have some parameters. And this parameter line length. This is the length of the tool entry line. But this parameter in itself doesn't mean the length of the line. This is the tool radius multiplier. So if we enter the value 2 in this field, the length of the line will be twice the radius of the tool. Our tool has a radius 10 millimeters, so the line length will be 20 millimeters. Ok, approach angle, this is the angle of the entry line relative to the tool path at the entry point. Ok, let's type in here for example 45 degrees, ok, and now we have line entry at an angle 45 degrees. Ok, let's back to 90 degrees and here we have also a feed rate modifier and the feed rate modifier parameter allow us modify the feed rate for the tool entry into material. Ok, below the list of entry type is sloping parameter and let's select this parameter and check how the tool path changes. You can see that the tool goes down into the material at an angle and now I will show you how to quickly add the tool exit with the same parameters as tool entry. You have to click this button to copy this parameter from lead in to lead out and click OK and now we have same parameter for tool in and for tool out. Ok, we have the same parameters for the tool in and tool out, but why is the entry point and exit point not in the same place? Because here we have the overlap parameter this is the value by which the tool's exit point will be shifted relative to the tool's entry point. And it will cause that the tool's exit point will not at the same place as the tool's 
and report.